a lot of people have asked about the Saints drafting Tommy Stevens. And whenever you gave Taysom Hill the big contract, you got Drew Brees coming back, and then you go sign Jameis Winston, why did you trade a sixth-round pick next year to sign Tommy Stevens to make your quarterback room even more crowded? Well, uh, Jeff Duncan of The Athletic got the answer from Sean Payton. Remember the history. Tommy Stevens played at Penn State and then transferred to Mississippi State. While he was at Penn State, the graduate assistant under Joe Moorhead was Joe Brady, who is now the OC for the Carolina Panthers. So drafts going along, and Tommy Stevens is getting interest from two squads, primarily as an undrafted free agent. The New Orleans Saints and Sean Payton and the Carolina Panthers and Joe Brady. Well, at one point during the draft, Stevens and his agent stopped taking the Saints' call. Essentially, they had a verbal agreement that as an undrafted free agent, Tommy Stevens was going to sign with Carolina. Well, Sean Payton did not take that line down. He told Jeff Duncan, quote, it became my project. So Sean Payton started dialing every team to try to get back into the draft to be able to take Tommy Stevens to keep him away from Carolina. When he executed the trade, he texted Joe Brady. Sean Payton texts Joe Brady, not so fast. And Brady apparently replied with, as it's written, um, a a good-natured profanity to uh, Saints coordinator Pete Carmichael. Um. So this is a very strange way to play this game, isn't it? It's going to cost the Saints $80,000 in a signing bonus to get Tommy Stevens on board. And it costs you a sixth-round pick next year to get back in in round seven. And the Saints have had success with late-round draft picks. I mean, like, they took Stevens in round seven this year, and, of course, they had to trade next year's six. But when you look through the years, Zach Streif, Marcus Colston, Adrian Arrington, Marcus Murphy, Daniel Lasko, Will Clapp, Caden Ellis, Saquon Hampton, guys that the Saints drafted in either round six or seven that played in games for them on Sundays. And you trade a six-round pick next year to move back into the draft to nab Tommy Stevens out of spite? (laughs) It's like Latte Larry's in Curb Your Enthusiasm. You open up a Spite store. It's not a great allocation of resources, but it might make you feel good. It's like, there's a, I'll reference Curb Your Enthusiasm again. There's an episode where, where Larry David loves licorice in, in the, uh, the BMW store, like in the shop. So he keeps bringing his car in to get it repaired when there's nothing wrong with it because every time he goes in, he gets some of the free licorice. It's like, and then finally he gets called on it. And he says, I am here to buy a car. And he ends up buying a, a sports car. It's like, hey, man, why don't you just acknowledge that you're here for the licorice and ask if you can buy some? It's way less expensive. Like, why not just let Tommy Stevens go to Carolina? It's way less expensive. But now they'll see if they stash a fourth quarterback on the practice squad and see if it works out. But, I, Okay, Sean. Maybe the ego got the best of you there. Hope it works out. Kind of an odd flex, but whatever, man. Your world. We're living in it.